To our Empower Sleep members, I'm Dr. Kirsten Lloyd. Today's topic is sleep environment. I'm coming to you from my sleep environment, a bedroom. I'm going to give you some key tips to make whatever your sleep environment is a sleep sanctuary. Tip number one, make sure that your bedroom is dark. If this was bedtime, my overhead light would be off. I would have my dim bedside lamp on up until it's time to go to bed. Minimize any electronic light in the room. I'm a big advocate for getting rid of the TV in the bedroom. Bedroom, not only because it emits a lot of electronic light, but also because of the noise of TV. Tip number two, reduce noise in your bedroom. Turn off the TV, put your phone in do not disturb mode. That's what it's made for. Reduce any artificial noise that you have control over. If you like to listen to music as you fall asleep, try to listen to more soothing music and make sure it has a timer so that it turns off and doesn't wake you up later in the night. If you have people that need to get a hold of you in the middle of the night for some reason, say you're on call for work, just put specific numbers that you know need to bypass that just do not disturb mode. If there are sounds in your sleep environment that are completely outside of your control, that's where you wanna use things like earplugs or even consider a white noise machine to drown out that extra noise in your room. Tip number three, make sure that your bed space is a comfortable temperature for you. Typically, the recommended sleep environment temperature is 60 to 72 degrees. And there's some wiggle room, of course, based on preference. Cooler temperatures help our body to regulate our internal temperature. When our internal temperature is a bit cooler during sleep, we actually have a more stable REM sleep. Tip number four is improve the air quality in your bedroom. Air quality is affected by many things, but a couple things that you can control are allergens and the humidity in your room. Allergens come from things like dust and pet dander. Clean and dust your room regularly and clean and launder your bed linens on a regular basis. If you also are still struggling with allergies despite those changes, consider investing in an air purifier for your bedroom. Next is humidity. If you live in a particularly dry environment, it may be a good idea to invest in a humidifier for your bedroom. You don't have to get a giant one that humidifies the whole house. Just a small one for your bedroom is perfectly adequate. Tip number five, make sure that your bedding is comfortable. Make sure that your blankets, sheets, whatever it is that you cover up with at night keeps you warm, but not hot. The other thing is choose a pillow that you just love that matches your sleep position. Tip number six, make sure that your sleep sanctuary declutter. Clutter in our bedroom leads to stressors or reminders of things as we're trying to go to bed. Do a deep clean of your bedroom. Get rid of things you don't need. Declutter your bed space so that when you go to bed at night, you are in a calm headspace. I hope you found at least one tip that you can use to improve your sleep environment. Thanks for joining me today.